As Beverly spoke about earlier, there can be some barriers to engage in family successfully. And one of the barriers can be around the perceptions and attitudes of maths and numeracy. We know that some adults can feel really anxious about maths and try to avoid using it. Suffering the effects of maths anxiety not only impacts on an individual's life chances and choices, but it can go on to affect their children's too. We know that some adults are going to require extra support to be able to understand and to do the maths. Through their research, the National Numeracy Organisation found that around half of the adult population in the UK are working at numeracy levels roughly equivalent to those expected of children at primary school. When we think about the impact that this can have on supporting their children's numeracy, it means that some parents can lack the confidence and the skills to be able to engage and support their children's learning effectively. On this slide are some tips to consider when planning and organising numeracy opportunities for parents. It's important to consider how those with maths anxiety might feel. For some parents, a come along to the fractions workshop invitation is just going to be too overwhelming. We know that some schools and organisations have found success engaging parents in opportunities which uses maths in a more informal way at first. For example, opportunities to take part in den building, Lego club, cooking classes or borrowing maths board game packs. These type of opportunities help to promote the use of maths in the everyday life and can also help you to establish a relationship and to build that trusting ethos and environment before beginning to explore maths in more depth. For some parents, the strategies, methods and resources that their children are using can seem very new and very different to how they were taught and their own experiences of maths at school. It's important to consider how we can support parents to understand and use these different resources, where they can go to find out more. And you might find our links on the Parents Own Scotland website helpful for this. We've got some video clips that were produced by Count on Us and the National Parent Forum of Scotland about how to use some of the different strategies. Another good tip is considering the language that we use, especially in activities that are to be completed at home making sure that the language is clear. We've got a glossary on our Parents Own Scotland website, which can be a helpful signpost for parents because it explains the different mathematical terms and vocabulary. The final point to consider is, do you have signposts available for parents who want to improve their numeracy skills? National Numeracy have got lots of hints and tips on their website, including the challenge, which is an interactive maths quiz which adults can complete and they are given tailored suggestions and activities and resources to help them improve based on the, their results. On this slide, you'll see some of the links that I've mentioned previously. The top section has Education Scotland's own resources which can be found on our Parents in Scotland site. The bottom section are the links from National Numeracy to their research on family engagement, their Family Maths Toolkit, which has lots of ideas to help parents, families and children enjoy everyday maths together. And the site also offers resources to help teachers support family engagement with their children's learning. And there's a link on to the challenge. <laughs>